posterior dislocation, the humeral head is not like this, it's like this. And it's barely caught on the posterior glenoid rim. With internal rotation, you rotate that prominence posteriorly and it slides forward. The humeral head is locked on the posterior glenoid rim. If you internally rotate, you do two things. You put the, the teres minor and the infraspinatus on stretch along with the posterior capsule and you reduce that interface of the humeral head. And the posterior stretch on the back of the humeral head slides right in and it reduces. That's all you have to do. Internally rotate and it slides in. Steven happens to have a posterior shoulder dislocation, okay? To do this, all you do is take the arm, put the hand behind the back, just like this. Lift the hand off the posterior surface of the back. I'm not going to do that to Steven because his shoulder's really in good shape, but I happen to have a radius. We'll pretend it's in his forearm with his hand on it. When you bring it back, you rotate it off. When the forearm is at about 15 to 20, perhaps more degrees off the coronal plane of the chest, it will spontaneously reduce. I have done this probably 10 or 15 times. It's excellent for reductions that are caught on the back with a large hill sax lesion because the hill sax lesion levers out, comes back in and derotates. It takes about five seconds. It's painless. I've done it in my office with a, with a young man who dislocated his shoulder one week previously when the emergency room did the old trick of doing, getting an AP, not a lateral, they missed it. No pain. I've done it in the intensive care unit to an elderly woman with a large hill sacs lesion that was caught on the posterior glenoid rim. No pain, about five seconds. And several times in the emergency room. In fact, this is quick and painless to the point where I became convinced that relatives of recurrent dislocators could do this at home. You could do it in the kitchen. If you know it's a posterior dislocation, it's happened before, you can set them down at the stool, put a laptop on, watch this uh, technique, and then gently rotate the forearm off the posterior wall with the arm straight down at the side. It will reduce and the patient will feel it. He'll say, I felt something, something moved, something shifted. Just let the arm go and leave it, it's in place.